Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Dhuni Gyan. If you like my tutorial, then please like and subscribe my channel. Uh, today we are here to learn something about the procedures that we have used in VB.NET. Actually, the procedure and functions both are similar, but difference is that the procedure does not return any value, but a function return a value. They both use the parameters as a function and a, and a procedure too. The procedure will start with the keyword sub and end with the end sub. And function will start with the keyword function and end with the end function. That is only the difference between the procedure and the functions. So let's start in this tutorial that how we the procedure will work in the VB.NET. For that, we have created a window program here that is addition, subtraction, and multiplication of the two numbers that will be stored in the result is the third control of our program. So let's start that how to work with these controls so using the procedures so these are the codes the code that i have already already written here here we have created uh, sub, uh, procedures is called a sub is called sub procedure the name of the procedure is add for adding the number and here we have used a and b as a two parameter or you can say that two arguments both are of the integer type in function and procedure or we can say that in dot net vb dot net we have declared it as a by val is a value type a is the name of the parameter as integer it represents the type of the value we are going to use in our program and the second parameter is also work as by well b as an integer now the text box 3 dot text equals to a plus b that means we have added the value a and b that is gone to the text box 3 that is used for the result and same i have used for subtraction only the sign is changed and for the multiplication only the uh, sign that means operator is changed here here in the button one that we are used for adding a number as you can see here in the example add so addition is used to add a number for that we have declared the two variable dim a comma b as a integer because we now are going to add the two integer variables then a is a cint text box one dot text text box one is the first value that we have used to taken as an input we have to convert it into the cint that means convert to integer because by default the vb.net take is as a string value so we have to convert it otherwise it gives the concatenated output that means if we add 5 and 6 then result is 56 not 11 so for that we have to convert it into the integer value and same i have done for the text box 2 that means in the text box 1 whatever we have written is going to the variable a and in text box 2 is going to the variable b then we call the processor add uh, and a and b is used as a parameter then your program is go to will go to the processor is called the add then a contain the value of the text box 1 here and b contain the value of text box 2 here then we add these two uh, numbers which is gone which is uh, displayed in the text box 3 same for the uh, button 2 that are going to use for the um, subtraction here's also a and b are used as an integer variable and the text box 1 for a and text box 2 for a and here subtract procedure is called here with the argument a and b then sub function will be used here procedure will be called here which is used to minus the two numbers and then same for the button 3 where we have taken the similar two numbers from the text box 1 and text box 2 then MULT is a processor name is called a multiplication a and b is as a parameter will be used here and then uh, the procedure we have written here for the multiplication is text box 3 dot text equals to a into b that means one thing that we have to create the procedures then we have to call the procedure we can pass the argument and we cannot pass the argument at depend uh, in our requirement. So let's let's run the program. Uh, we will run here. <coughs> uh, this is the window application. Suppose we want to add 5 and 6. Then we will press if the add button then result is 11. If we subtract it then the result is minus 1. If we multiply it then the result is 30. That is uh, the simple uh, way that I have used to demonstrate you how to work with the processor. Thank you guys. I think uh, you now are able to understand the, the processors and also the difference between the function and the processor. Thank you so much.